Last time on the American Crappie Trail, Hurricane Laura struck the Monroe at Washita Parish in southern Louisiana on the night before day one, knocking out power and generating thousands of tons of debris. The storm turned the Washita River over, raising the water levels and changing the patterns the teams had mapped out during pre-fishing. Despite the chaos, Teams brought some impressive bags to the weigh-ins, with Josh Jones and Josh Reynolds bringing in 14.02 pounds, putting them solidly atop the leaderboard. The day one results have the Bass Tank team member Robert Carlisle in second, the super clean B&M team of Caps and Coleman in third, with Fields and Riser and Les Milligan rounding out the top five. Day two finds the Washita River still reeling from the storm, making the waters unpredictable. Who will take the top spot on championship Saturday? Find out right now on the American Crappie Trail. We ended up in fourth, uh, it's where we're sitting right now, but it was, it was pretty tough at first, but got better as the day went on. We're gonna go back to the same spot we fished yesterday, see if they're in there. If they're not, we're gonna make a little bit of a run and see if we can't pull this thing off for two years in a row. Josh has got a pretty good lead. Robert Carlisle's right behind him. It's only half time. We're sitting in eighth, but we're only like a pound away from third, so top 10. Hey, I'm trying to stay good. in the top 10 here. Uh, found a couple of good ones right off the bat, and then I struggled the rest of the day. I don't know if I can bring in the same as I did yesterday, and I really need to bring in a pound more to catch up with the leader. We're on the fish. We got a, about a pound lead, a little, little under, and hopefully we can keep it together. Basically fish the same exact stuff we fished yesterday. Lots of fish in there. We couldn't get all of them to bite, so we're going to go back for the rest today. Welcome to Championship Saturday here on the Washita River with American Crappie Trail. We have got a fantastic show for you. Josh Jones and Josh Reynolds are leading the event with over 14 pounds in the middle of the summer. What a dynamic fishery this place has shown. Robert Carlisle, the Bass Tank team is in second place and the super clean team of Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman in third. This is a unique situation. You've got two teams in first and second place that are diehard live scope fishermen. And you've got Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman that are trying to figure out the hybrid version of how they can utilize the live scope and multi-pole fishing. This is going to be an exciting show. You don't want to miss it. Full of action. Stay tuned right here with American Crappie Trail. The national anthem concludes and the boats blast off, heading out in hopes of taking over a steep leaderboard. The day one leaders are ahead of the pack by nearly a pound. 14's going to be hard to catch, so uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to handle that. So we just, we're just going to just try to maintain where we got and maybe move up a spot or two if somebody has some trouble ahead of us. It'd be hard to bet against Josh Jones uh, with a one pound lead. I would uh, be hard to bet against him. If you told me to, to take a bet now, that's who, who I'd put my money on. About all you can do is, uh, if you want to compete in and out, it feels like uh, you better get a live scope. Uh, spend a lot of time on the water. And just before you're ready to throw it in the water, you might have it figured out. Uh, we're just live scoping, finding fish and Jigging. Maybe. That one on the post, baby. We caught, uh, we got three tournament fish already. We have our limit of seven, but uh, we got three tournament fish. Uh, we're looking for four more. But it's, it's been all right, they've been biting. We just, we just got to this spot. Robert Carlisle starts championship Saturday feeling the pressure. The waters of the Washita River are still shifting after the storm Thursday night. So we're just getting started on day two. I'm currently setting in second place. I'm about a pound behind the leaders right now. Uh, so I got some ground to make up. And what I'm fishing is a bayou. And for everybody outside of Louisiana, bayou is just a big creek. Uh, we just had a hurricane go through and, and the water is uh, they're, they're trying to pull down the lake. Um, yesterday, I, I was able to find this spot that the backwater from the river and the incoming water from, from the, the drainage up here, um, they had met. The water was calm where I was fishing, so I pulled back into the same spot 
And uh, what I've ran into is that there's current. I don't know if you can see the current right here around this, this stump, but I've got current. Current's never good for crappie. I'm seeing a few fish. I've got one in the boat, a uh, pound and a quarter fish. But, you know, it's gonna take 13, 14 pounds to stay competitive. If I wanna lead it, I've gotta be 14 to 15 pounds. So it, it, I've got a lot of ground to make up. Lucas Marine Oil. It's the only oil fortified with unique Lucas additives. <laughs> Just like Major League Fishing, it's environmentally friendly. Sweet. Lucas Oil means purpose-built, high-performance product. It meets all manufacturers' specifications also. Not running Lucas Marine Oil, it's like fishing a tournament without a boat. Lucas Marine Oil, it's that good. General Tire was born more than 100 years ago, right here in America. We've spent the last century tackling every kind of road this country has to offer, and especially the places without roads. So you know that with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. More tournament wins than any other crappie pole. BNMPoles.com. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. BM Fishing, quality, performance, and service for over 70 years. Millennium Marine, the difference is in the details. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. Racetrack, whatever gets you going. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. Unlike many of the wide open fisheries the ACT visits, the Washita River, while hundreds of miles long, isn't nearly as spacious. This means that parts of the river can get a little crowded, particularly on day two, and especially if you're the leader. Tournament fishing, it's not, it brings a whole new aspect into it. It's not your, let's go out and catch a bunch of fish for dinner, man. You got, you got so many variables to work with, including, you know, especially when you're leading a tournament, people seeing where you're at, especially somewhere like the Washita River that fish is really small. You're good. There's a lot of miles of river, but there's only so many sloughs. On day one, Jones and Reynolds shared much of this part of the river with the team of Waymire and Braun. We're, we're fishing side by side with the guy all day yesterday. Not really side by side, but He's got his area and we got ours and it, we're kind of staying apart. We might, we might come close every once in a while to each other, but we respect each other. And uh, that's what it's about. Those guys that, I think they're in seventh place, they gave us minnows and ice. And without them, we wouldn't be leading this thing. It's day two of the American Crappie Trail. We're sitting in seventh place. Josh Jones has got a commanding lead on us, Robert Carlisle. We really got to catch him today. It's been a really slow morning for us today, but it was a little cloudy, overcast this morning. The sun's starting to come out. They might slide up, hold still. If, they're, if they stop, we can catch them. Um, we've drugged these jigs till they've come off the hook this morning, passed them, and it, it spooked them. So what we've been doing, we've just been taking a minnow, not hooking it like you would if you were trolling. We're hooking it right behind the dorsal fin, 
a little farther back just on a 16th ounce jig but that minnow's pretty active hooked in the fin like that he's we're swinging it to him stopping the bait letting that minnow twitch a little bit and i mean dead stick it hold it and we might even put a cork on there and pitch it out there in a little bit so it'll just stay right on top of them let the minnow do the work they're short striking it it's come up and they can pick that minnow right off the end of the hook it's unbelievable Yesterday at this time, we were sitting on about nine and a half pounds. Um, today, we got one 11 inch fish. We've really got to do some work. We have to get get it together and, and catch them. So I think things will pick up though for us. We're just gonna be persistent, slow, take our time, make sure we don't leave anything left in here because today's championship Saturday. The Lucas Oil team of Watson and Morgan are behind on the leaderboard and are sticking to spider rigging in the shallower depths of the river. Day two, Wachita River. We was in 16th place after day one. We're starting off a little slower today. We got three good quality fish. We need about three more to hopefully move up a little bit. The majority of the boats are using live scope and one pole fishing. Me and Drew haven't had a lot of time doing that. We pre-fished all week with one pole. Found an area where there was good fish, but we're in three and a half to four foot of water. And it's just easier for us to take these six poles when we find the fish and put them on them. The only disadvantage is we can't cover the water as fast because uh, there's a lot of stumps and brush in here. We get hung up, but it's um there's a place for using multiple poles and i mean they're showing us it's uh one pole's the way to go once you get it figured out and can get on them fish crappie fishing is about being in the right place at the right time a lot of the time so you know it's a tough decision do we stay here or do we move we've caught the best fish we've seen all week right here in this area so we're just going to stay here and try to grind it out and see what happens Hopefully we can pick some up here this afternoon, try to move up a little bit. From the tackle store to your truck, to your boat on the lake, back to the ramp and all the way home. Angle coolers have you covered. I'm Bill Dan. You know, I've been fishing for more than 60 years now. I know how to keep comfortable. Millennium Shade Tree Umbrella Holder will hold your Shade Tree Umbrella Shaft precisely where you need it, whether you're fishing from your own pedestal seat or Millennium's double seat sidekick. Trust me, this device will hold the umbrella perfectly while you hold the fish, of course. Millennium Shade Tree Umbrella Holder. You're going to love it. To find out more about other great products from Millennium Marine, check them out at MillenniumMarine.com. Quality American made product at one of the best price points in the industry. Customer service that's second to none. More importantly, they flat out catch fish. I'm pro angler Mark Rose. And, I'm and that's pro, pro angler Andy Montgomery. Hey, you want your buzz bait to track truer and squeal like a stuck hog? Use some Lucas Marine gear oil on it. 
Man, that candy bar looks good. What do we say? Safeguard with ethanol treatment. We keep with ethanol fuel, fuel conditioner. conditioner. Surely we got one in there. You want your outboard engine to be in better condition than Andy Montgomery? What'd you say? Use this. 5,294. Lucas Oil, made in America. Sold to the world. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. Superior protection, superior performance. Mercury Marine, the official engine of the American Crappie Trail. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices. General Tire, anywhere is possible. Power Pole, total boat control. Angle Coolers, the original roto molded high performance cooler. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail. The super clean B&M team of Caps and Coleman are fishing the same way they did on day one, applying multiple techniques, single poling and spider rigging together, hoping to keep their spot in the top five. Like other teams, they're getting their share of short strikes, but also bringing in their fair share of big hogs. The B&M team of Myers and Taylor are a long way from the blast-off site. Fishing with live scope and single poles with minnows, the light bite seems to be everywhere. The Lucas Oil Outdoor Line team of Tim Blackley and Daniel Porter have had a pretty good morning, but know they have a lot of catching up to do, both in points and in technique. He and I both are we both grew up spider fishing, and that's what we knew. Uh, you know, with this new technology, we're having to learn how to fish all over again. With this live scope, I mean, you see everything that's going on. You see when a fish is running away from you, and we kind of can tell what size it is. Sometimes they'll fool you. You know, we're fishing in this cut. It's five to seven. Some of the fish have come out a four foot deep. Uh, it's got some structure in here, some uh, natural brush and it's got some man-made stake beds that some of the fish we've caught come out of but uh, it's it's uh, I, th I think the main thing that they're doing you know running heavy current I think they're coming from the river in here I think it's replenishing pretty much all day we hope it was hot when we first got in here I mean everything you put a hook in front of it be it as soon as we pulled in, we caught a 214 and uh, backed it up with like a 196, another 198, and we got five biggins, great biggins. We got five right at two pounds. I don't know that we got a chance to win with Jones having such a lead, but if we can get us two more biggins, we're gonna make a run at it. He better catch them today. So these are the ones we're, we're playing with. We're hoping, uh, we're taking the don't catch a lot of fish, go after a few fish approach today. Sit in eighth place, half a pound behind fourth, one pound behind third. He had 11 and a half pounds yesterday. They're here, super finicky. Short striking, we've, had, we've been uh, chumming them with minnows. <laughs> Oh. Very difficult to see these fish. I mean, they're, they look like a part of the tree. The only thing we're seeing is just a little bit of flash for movement. And we're dropping the, the jig down to them and they're showing themselves then. But they are definitely short striking today. A little more intense than yesterday morning. We, we had our limit pretty, pretty quick. And uh, we kind of knew we put ourselves in a position this morning to not not have a limit, but just to try to go after big fish. That's what we're here for. Day one's second place finisher, Robert Carlisle, has been successful with his live scope and single pull approach, but so far is shy of his seven fish limit. Seven of them and I'll be happy. We're still tournament fishing, even though I'm having a tough day. Only got two fish in the boat. Um, and one of them is even too small. Like this fish here, uh, yeah, I'll take it back. That's a decent fish. Um, but you gotta be selective about what you're fishing for. We only have eight hours when we're out here. And uh, if you're wasting time on fish that are too small, you don't 
won't find that you have enough time at the end of the day to do what you need to do. And I think that's an important factor. Little one. There was a big one and a little one. Big one's still right there. Little one bit. But see how much time I'm wasting with a little one? And my big one's getting away. Ooh, there's an even bigger one stuck on that tree. Here he comes. Got him. Another good one. Pound 35, 135. So I'll take it right now. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. More tournament wins than any other crappie pole. BNMPoles.com. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Super Clean Floor Absorbent is formulated to do the work for you. Just apply and watch the spill absorb in minutes. Super Clean Floor Absorbent weighs only three pounds, so it's easy to pour and store no matter how messy the situation gets. For the one-two punch and stain fighting, follow up with Super Clean Degreaser for a like new finish. For all your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super easy. Easy, super fast, super clean. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. Born from competition. Perfected on the racetrack. For whatever your road looks like, with General Tire, Anywhere is possible. Hi, I'm pro angler Mark Rose. And I'm pro angler Andy Montgomery. You want your truck engine to last longer than a 3,000 yard bulk spool of line? Lucas Oil, motor oil, long lasting. Extra long lasting. <laughs> Should I say running smoother or running better? Running smoother might sound better. Smoother than a three legged thunder cricket coming through a treetop? Silence! Say something about injector cleaner and hold up the bottle. Are we rolling? Come on! Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world. Bro, what is happening? Jones and Reynolds are feeling the heat. The morning was good to them, but the water is up and the bite is down. Yeah, water rose at least a foot, so. I'm no expert at river fishing, but I'm sure that affected them somehow. Seems like the fish are not as active as they were. Um, we're hoping the bite will definitely pick up. You can't help but be concerned. I mean, it is fishing. They're here. And when you're leading the tournament, I don't care how much you're leading it by, you're always gonna be somewhat concerned. I mean, you gotta have confidence, but I'm concerned even though I know we can catch these fish. But until we get seven in that live well, I ain't, I'm, I'm not gonna be feeling good. What's the deal, dude? Here's a good fish. He's, they're afraid, of, these minnows are gigantic. Right there. To 160s, tournament fish. I mean, we get seven of those. Hey, 
With time on the water coming to a close, will Jones and Reynolds finish strong and stay on top, or will someone else surge to the lead? Let's go to Waymaster Jamie Bryant to find out. And welcome to Championship Saturday right here at the American Crappie Trail on the beautiful Wachita River here in West Monroe, Monroe, Louisiana. It's time to find out who's going to walk away with a brand new Ranger boat and a whole stack of cash. And we're going to start in on day two here right away. Tim Bear, Andre Smith, they had 11.51 yesterday. Need 11.85 to take the lead today. Do have a seven fish limit. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. What's your psyche tell you? Uh, I think we got it. Do you think you got it? How about you? Yeah, we got Feeling it. Feeling good? All right. Let's see what we got here, guys. No more waiting around, right? Let's get these fish on the scale here. You are, guys. How about 12.19 for a two-day total of 23.70? You are in the new lead. We've got Les Milligan. He had 11.79 yesterday. Got a seven fish limit today. So many things to talk about here. Number one, you fished by yourself two days in a row. Congratulations on top 10 fishing solo number one. Uh, thank you so much. Number two, first time ACT? First time ACT. Correct. Congratulations on that, number two. Number three, you need 11.91. Think you got them? I think I got it. You think you got them? Let's so. find out, man. We'll, we'll go for the trifecta there, okay? Let's see what we got here, all right? And they do feel awfully good here. You're going to do it. 13.02, two-day total, 24.81. Yes, you did take the lead. You walk right over here. Say goodbye to Andre and Tim. Guys, congratulations. Appreciate it. You can take a seat right here in the Millennium Hot Seat. Coming up next, they were in fourth place. They had 12.06. They've got a seven fish limit today. Let's bring up boat number nine, Chris Fields and Jared Riser. I'll get those for you. Seven fish today, guys? We did. Good seven? seven yeah, pretty good. All right, this is nice to hear. Hopefully good enough. Well, let's find out, guys. You're going to need 1275, guys. 1275. Let's see what we got here. You're going to do it to 1322 today, total 2528. Yesterday he had 1310. He's got a seven fish limit today. He's the Ranger Boat Sponsor Team, Todd Huckabee Rods. Robert Carlisle, need 1218 today, and you got seven fish today. How is it, buddy? I think it's good. Good? I think it's good. Little Brewery told me you caught him again today. I did well. Did well. That's time to find out, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, we got a good string here, guys. Watch this, folks. It's 1487 for a two-day total, 2797. Let's bring up our leaders. They had 1402 yesterday. They're going to need 1395 today. Let's bring up Josh Jones and Josh Reynolds. Today was tough. That's all I can say. I mean, it was one of the hardest days I've ever had in my life. We had huge fish everywhere. We had 15 pounds of fish where we were. We just couldn't get them to bite, no matter what we put in front of them. See if you guys are sandbagging, not telling the truth, or if you're saying this is uh, not going to be the way it's going to be. Yeah, right? He yeah. says we might be. <laughs> Robert, you want to see this too? You can come on up here. We'll check it out together. Let's see who our Washita champ is going to be, guys. You ready? Going to need 1395, guys. It's not going to happen, guys. Ro 1066, Robert Carlisle, you are a Washita champion, everybody. Robert Carlisle, impressive string, 2797. Congratulations. Robert Carlisle takes home the new Ranger boat here on the Washita River, followed by Fields and Riser, solo angler Les Milligan, Jones and Reynolds in fourth, and Haybear and Smith in fifth. We'll see you next week when the teams take on Grenada Lake, Mississippi, right here on the American Crappie Trail.